everybody, Colin here again. I'm just doing a video on block detectors and I'm changing the material I use for my control panel. If I uh, just pick the old one up and I'll show you what the old one was like and then I'll show you what the new one's going to be like. So this is the old one. Now, as you can see, what I was doing, because I know my track plan, I was just going to put the points in the rough position they were on this board, and I had down there my turntable control panel. And if you look at some of these, there's cracks in the plastic, which you can't maybe see on camera. Um, yeah, you can. You can see where it's shattered. And I just used paper tape. And um, when I drilled it, it made a right mess. And when I drilled the holes, the muck went in between the plastic and the paper behind. So it looked really messy. And I thought, can't be having that. Now these numbers are just for me, so when I rewire my points back up, connect the wires, I know which one, that's number seven, and so on. So those tape, that tape wasn't on when it was on the control board. Now my control board now looks like this. That's my control board now. And I've put, because what I'm going to do is do a proper plan going all the way around the edges of, that'll be the clockwise, and then in a bit it'll be the anti-clockwise track, and then there'll be the goods yard over here. The turntable is in this area with the diesel yard coming down in this area and I'm going to block detect everything so as the trains run round the board will light up in different areas the reason for this also is I wanted to under my town scene I have a line that goes to a dead end and I needed to be able to detect it now, when I bought the actual unit to make one work, it does up to 24. So I thought, right, that's it. I'm going to just block detect the lot. And it's another thing for me to get into and do on my board. Now, this is acrylic. There's this board. Better than what I had. It's two mil thick and I've stuck some MDF, thin MDF, about 3.1 on the back. Now, I do have some switches. And these switches, those switches are five point, not focus, are five millimeter long from that square bit. So I'm going to have to let it in on the back a bit. But I've got a plan for that to make it easy. Now my main two routes, my clockwise, my anti-clockwise, my up and over return loop from clockwise to anti-clockwise is set. The anti-clockwise to clockwise return loop, that's set. Most of it is set now. The only bits what are in... Uh, the rest of the rails for the steam yard from the turntable and a couple of lines on my diesel line and my goods line. And there's a little bit over by the electric cooling towers for the power station. There's a line to go in there, my DMU storage area, but they can all be added on and I'll be able to drill it while it's up here. Now I've been practicing 
this weekend on drilling the acrylic what came out of here and I'll just show you this so that's the acrylic and this is plastic tape in here that's black that's green yeah red yellow blue now for the detection I'm going to put blue lights in my points are a different colour, which I'll explain when I come to it. But what I'm using, because I'm using the mega point system for my points, I'm using his detection units. And that is a block detector. Now, that bit is wired up. The power supply to the multi panel processor is wired up to the electrics and so this panel which is the feedback detection panel this panel is the LED output now the wires are plugged in I'm using from 1 to 5 there is 1 to 24 on both of these and you can use up to 8 in a row so that's a lot of block detections so if you times 824s, that's the number you get. And it runs through this board. Now, I'm going to put you on the holder and I'm going to just wire this up and show you which wire goes where. I'm using my diorama, which is also my programming track. I've connected, just using some track joiners the black is directly wired into the bus route it doesn't ha it doesn't matter if it's not because one of the lines has to go into this block detector and out again before it goes to the track now I could have put the black in but I put the white in and I will do the white on every one because I use black and white wire and that's the way I'm going to do it so it goes from the track into the detector and then to the bus room. Now I'll show you me wiring this up. It's all plug and play. That's the beauty of this stuff. And I'll put you on hold and then come back to you. Right, so this is the multi-panel processor. It's got a power supply in. That as its own power supply has the feedback panel. That doesn't. So what we're going to do is get to take the power from here to there. So I'm going to put a lead on there to that one using this lead plug and play that goes to, into there and that goes into that one so that is going to be fed through here You've got to make that talk to this. And you do that through this outlet here. And it's got DLC on. And basically, I'm going to put my yellow wire to the D. And you put it into this bottom row of fours plugs here and it has feedback on and 
with me putting the yellow wire to the D, I need to put it to this D here. So the yellow wire matches. So that's that, talking to this. Now I also have to get that to talk to this. So you get a wire and you plug it into the network, which on this, it's the top one of those pair there. So that goes in there and the network connection is down here. And I'm putting yellow to outside again. The other thing I have to do is use this wire to connect into the detector, plug detector, and put it in to number one on here. And black goes to the middle. My black is going to the signal. And it goes to the signal on that on that one there so that is now wired up now when I turn it on everything should light up and the bottom one should light up because that is number one so I'm just going to get down on the floor what I've uh, done these yellow well yellow and purple wires which are the power feed they've got a male and female on and I'm going to connect them together because the wires I'm using are what feed my control panel and I put a plug and play on there so if I ever need to do anything like this I can do it up here or set my points up up here with the boards so I don't have to be on my hands and knees. I only have to be on my hands and knees for a small amount of time. And it's better for me, is that? And I can do everything stood up. So I'll, I'll just get down here and plug the wires in. So now I've turned the power on to these. The light won't work yet until I plug the diorama in and the control panel. So I'll just plug that in now. And that's just running through its little process and there it is lit. So that is detecting my 37 on my diorama. Now, just to show you what I was testing was how this blue looked on each of these colours. And at the moment, it's in number one. That's number one. I'm going to unplug it and put it into number two. And that's that one, the green. Number three, the red. Number four, the yellow. And then to test what the blue looked like with a blue light is that one. So I'm quite happy. And I've seen how it works. Now I'm going to take you off the stand. At the moment, the block detector, which is that little thing there with the blue and white wires coming out, is on number five and my train is on that block it's about a foot and a half long that piece of track so it, it's saying that train is on that piece of track 
when it moves off the track and I'm just going to lift it off the track it goes out and when I put it back on and the wheels are on it comes back on the board so it's it's moved off and it's come back on so that is how it detects now I know the colour will always be the same uh, I haven't decided what colour I'm going to use for my clockwise or my anti-clockwise but they'll all have a different colour but they'll all have a blue light my points are going to be green and red indicating which way the point is facing and which way the train is going to go so what I've got to do with this plastic tape is make excuse me while I turn you around try not to do it too fast to make you dizzy I've got to make a plan of my layout on that panel and then drill the holes through the tape and rewire it all back up as you can see my ADM turntable panel control panel is in now it's not working at the moment because when it was in this bottom left corner the wire two meter long was long enough but because I put it up there it's now not long enough so another piece is on its way as I speak he's posted it today and it remembers even though I've unplugged the main power supply it remembers everything to my turntable as it stands at the moment so I've got to make this plan on this board I'm not going to do that at the moment on this video this video was just to show you the modular detector unit and how you wire it all together and for me to see how the lights look so I hope that was uh, a little bit interesting for you. When I've put my first piece of tape on, as in the outside circuit, I'll make a, a video of it and show you as I go how I drill the holes and stuff. So please, if you've got any questions, Put them in the comments any queries or anything like that and any new people please subscribe and like and i'll speak to you soon okay bye